Hi Pisces, it is Thursday, July 4th. Happy, happy July 4th, you guys in the USA. And um, let's look into your tarot cards and see what messages come out today. Spirits, what does Pisces need to know right now at the time they're viewing this reading? What does Pisces need to know? All right, Pisces, the first card you have is the Ace of Pentacles, and then you have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. There's some something new here. With the Ace of Pentacles as your very first card, there's something new here that happened in your energy. And why the heck is the Wheel of Fortune turning up next to it in reverse is crazy. So we're going to find out why. We're going to go back and clarify all the cards. You have the Emperor. This is Aries energy. And then you have Judgment, Death, Scorpio energy in the center of your reading. And the Eight of Cups, the King of Swords, the Star, Aquarius energy, and the Nine of Swords. On the bottom of the deck, you have the Ten of Pentacles and you have the Three of Pentacles. Okay. You need to make a decision. I feel like you need, you know that you need to make this decision, Pisces. But you're not really sure what you should do here. Because you're, kind, you're going back and forth. Should I do this? Or should I do that? Or should I not do nothing? find out shuffle one more time Pisces Why is the Ace of Pentacles here, Spirits? Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? I'm seeing here, Pisces, you have the Six of Pentacles next to the Ace of Swords. I'm seeing a conversation taking place here with someone, all right? And it's about, um, it's about something that is to come, I feel like, with the Wheel of Fortune being in reverse. There's something that is to come, and it's going to require work if you're going to do it, and you need to hurry up and do it. That's what the cards are telling you here with the Knight of Swords. So... That's what this decision is with this King of Cups. This could be anybody. This is not you, Pisces, even though this is a water sign, a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpio. 
Um, anybody can embody this energy and I'm seeing someone else here with you in your energy. With the Ace of Pentacles here, there's something here that you're working on. Um, there's something new that you're doing. I'm not sure what it is. It's in the material world. But this King of Cups, male or female, I'm get, picking up a masculine ener energy, I'm pretty sure here. Um, but it doesn't matter what gender this person is. I'm seeing the two of you having a conversation about something that needs to be done. All right, and it could be a change of plans. And it's time to get to work here with the Eight of Pentacles. And the Knight of Swords is, is okay, we're going to have to hurry and get to work. Because something's changing. Something about the Ace of Pentacles. Something in the material world. Something about... Um... I don't know, it could be a new job, it could be anything here, Pisces, but something about this Ace of Pentacles that you're wanting to put work towards, you need to put it on hold because I'm seeing something else that will be happening, so prepare for this. It's showing up in the recent past, but for a lot of you, this has not happened yet. This is simply Pisces energy, and this is... A general reading so the timeline could be off here but something here for a lot of you guys it has not happened yet but it is to come okay and I feel like you're going to find out about this and you're going to be wondering am I overreacting should I veer off of the plan um, and I see you having a conversation here with someone else about this because something here about um, some type of news coming in. Um, it's it's something the the wheel of fortune is a major arcana. It changes everything. Okay, tell me why the wheel of fortune is here. The Ten of Cups. This involves your family, the people that you love. Temperance, Sagittarius energy. You trying to create peace with the with this home. It's like um, you have this this energy here. This is Sagittarius energy. Um, you you have this idea here that maybe be patient, maybe this person has headphones on, maybe listen for more information. You have the Six of Wands here, um, so that you can get out of a situation here. It just, it feels to me like there's news coming in, and <clears throat> Sorry, you guys. And you'll be able to walk out of this in a peaceful manner successfully with the Six of Wands. Why is the Emperor here? And I'm picking up this masculine energy. This is Aries energy. There's a masculine energy around you, Pisces, and whoever this person is, it's like they seem to be um, not worried. It's like, I got this. The Page of Swords is here. And then you have the Star Aquarius energy. And you have the Eight of Wands. See, there's the Ace of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Really, really feeling stuck, needing to make a decision here, Pisces. And going into Hermit energy, Virgo energy, about this Ace of Pentacles. 
this ace of pentacles it's something new that you started but i feel like there's a change of plans here definitely a change of plans maybe not completely getting rid of this ace of pentacles something in the material world <coughs> Um, that seems like a huge investment to you, you're going to need to put it to the side with this energy coming in right here because you may need to jump some hoops. You may need to go through some red tape here for a bit. You have the star and you have the page of swords. So I'm feeling like with the star and the page of swords, I'm feeling like you're hoping that whatever it is that you're preparing for turns out to be okay for you. You're already in a healing energy, all right, with the star. So you've already been through a tower moment where you feel like your whole life was falling apart and you had to rebuild again all right and the next card you have is judgment it's like okay i can't delay making this decision anymore and wouldn't you know it the tower is there i can't delay queen of swords thinking about this I, I cannot delay the inevitable. I can't delay making this decision anymore. What am I going to do when the tower falls? You know, you need to be prepared. And I, I see that you're going to see this coming, all right, with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. It's like things were supposed to be moving smoothly in one direction and you felt like you had control of things, but this information that you're going to be receiving, it's, it's something that is going to make you put this on hold from what I can see right now. Tell me why, or maybe even let that go. Tell me why judgment is here. There's something here that you've been working on, Pisces. And you may have put a lot of your money into it to the point where you could feel like I don't have enough money. Um, I put all of my money into this work that I've been doing here or into this job. The pentacles are showing up strongly over this judgment call, this decision that you need to make. It really feels like you're feeling like you're feeling like you don't want to spend the money or um, switch jobs or move movement here, but the universe is stepping in and saying yes, you are. It's like you're happy here with the Nine of Cups. Like I'm happy here. I got everything put together the way I want it. But yet, the tower will come, regardless of whether you're in your mind or not, like this. See, you're in your mind ab about um, some type of conflict coming in here. And it's a, whatever it is, this Ace of Pentacles is a blessing to you. You don't want to lose it. You're kind of standing guard here. Like, I'm... I'm not going to let this go, but yet you see the tower burning. You see something that you don't have any control over with the tower. You have no control over stopping this force, this energy from coming towards you. Even though you're happy where you are, you could be receiving a lot of um, you know, like recognition for where you are, even with the Six of Wands. It feels really good to me. It feels like this is peaceful, this Ace of Pentacles that you found. It's happiness around your home, your family. 
And you could be feeling very stubborn here, too. Looking for information because you have hope with the star. And um, you're trying to avoid going through all of this red tape and jumping hoops. But ultimately, the, the tower will strike. Okay, and that is why death is in the center of your reading. All right, the tower is going to strike. There's someone here with you. This person, they might have Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio in their chart. They don't have to. But this death card, this is Scorpio energy. Why is death here? Yeah, something is inevitable. Something here is going to happen. Even though you have all the hope in the world that, please, you know, this is not going to, this is not going to, this is not going to happen. You have the death and you have the, the world. Something here that you began some type of new plan it's coming to an end now in your energy in the center of your reading and it leaves you really really worried having a hard time sleeping um because you need to walk away from that ace of pentacles right here you need to walk away from it and this is hitting you emotionally now with the Eight of Cups here, there's something here that you have built and you need to walk away from it. And it's it's an energy here, Pisces, that you felt really good. Like there's a lot of potential in this, in this energy of the Ace of Pentacles. You know, I see your wish fulfillment here. I see you working on something. Tell me why you have to walk away. Why is the Eight of Cups here? See, look, there it is again, the Ace of Pentacles. This Ace of Pentacles is going to be different for all of you guys, but um, the one thing that remains the same is the fact that is it, it is an Ace, so it's something here that you began doing, and it's a Pentacle. It's something in the material world that you need to walk away from. Tell me why... You're walking away from this Ace of Pentacles. The Hermit is showing up again, Virgo energy. You, you feel like you're questioning yourself here. It breaks your heart with the Three of Swords. And this could be a person, a place, a thing, like a noun a job, but it breaks your heart because there's something here that you were very passionate about. We have all four aces now, and I don't know if the destruction hits yet. I haven't seen the tower show up again here in this energy, or if this is just something that you're worried about, but we do have the stars showing up right here. And the star comes right after the tower. The queen of wands is here. So, there's something here that you were very confident in. Or you are right now. And it's something new that you began. And I'm seeing it breaking your heart to have to walk away from it. The hermit is here. It's like you're really, really having to go deep within and decide what you're going to do about this Ace of Pentacles because do not take anybody else's advice. There's something here that spirits are telling you. Even though there's another person here in your energy, do not take their plan this is something here with the hermit where you need to decide if it's time to walk away 
okay? Because this energy is serious. When you have a tower showing up over here and you're going back and forth, should I or shouldn't I? I don't want to leave this behind, but the tower is coming in. Um, if we don't get the tower show up here in the future, we're going to clarify what the tower is. Because you have the star card showing up twice here also, which the star comes after a tower. Tell me why the king of swords is here. Why is the king of swords here? Two of Swords, Justice, Libra Energy, and the Lovers, Gemini Energy. Something is, it's almost like something is, the Seven of Swords is here. Something is sneaking up behind you as you walk away. All right, so this is very interesting to me too. What I'm seeing here that you don't see, that you may have, you may regret afterwards. And so we're gonna clarify these two and the tower. But I'm seeing you making a choice here, Pisces. You're making a decision with the King of Swords energy here. And there's someone else involved in this decision and this is why this tarot reading is important because you can change this energy. We all have free will and nothing has happened yet. But I'm seeing you with, with someone else here making a decision that um, with justice and the two of swords, a decision that you're blindfolded to. Um, that you refuse to look at yourself. It's almost like you're you're letting someone else make a decision for you. This is Libra energy justice. And um, something here is going to play out. This could even be a legal matter with the King of Swords and justice. Tell me more about the justice card here. Why is justice here? The queen of swords and the moon. There's just something here that you're just not sure about. You know, you want to do things with justice is showing up here, Pisces, is because you want to do things right and you want to do things fair for everyone involved. There's other people other than just you and this love here, whether this is romantic love or not, there's other people here at stake besides, you know, there's family showing up here in the, this energy and you're not sure how something's going to, to work out. But your intuition is here. This is Pisces Cancer energy, the moon, and you need to be careful of this energy too of the moon because this energy of the moon could be you here in the future thinking um no that's not going to happen and talking yourself out of the possibility of something happening which is the tower because you don't want it to happen. And the next card you have is the star. And this is a hard decision, all right? Strength is here, Leo energy. This is a hard decision, all right? But I see you, I see you, a lot of you guys making the decision that um, you don't know which way to go you feel like you're in the dark and you do take someone's advice here so let's see what happens after this advice is taken if you take this route tell me why the star is here and 
grab another deck. Isn't that interesting? The tower is showing up here when I pick up this deck. I'm really feeling the tower. Um, something here has potential to definitely end. And I feel like you're going to see it coming. See the hermit holding the lantern up to the tower. So you see the potential here of something changing your world, okay? But it's like you're trying to hold on to what you're doing. And I feel like you guys had this type of energy yesterday too. Similar maybe. Tell me why the star is here. This also, it makes you feel a bit vulnerable, Pisces, because of the uncertainty of what is actually going to happen here. The Four of Pentacles is here. Seven of Cauldrons. And the Father. See, something, something that you don't have any control over. I mean, these are major arcanas showing up here. Something that you have no control over. Um, could be changing something in the material world that you have an investment in, that you've made an, an investment in. It's taken a lot out of your pocketbook. It's taken a lot of time and energy. The mother and the father are here. You're trying to be practical about this change. But I can't help but think that someone here is persuading you that it's not going to happen. You like the idea that it's not going to happen. Your intuition is telling you that, yes, I need to worry about this. I need to walk away. But... I see you feeling very confused here. All right, you have the Seven of Cups. You're looking at all the options, and you're kind of stubborn in the energy of the, of the Father. And even though you're feeling vul vulnerable, um, and maybe feeling like you don't have enough money, You're releasing it to the universe at this point. Because the star is here. So the tower will fall. When the tower falls, you may feel like you're unprepared. So get prepared now. Because I feel like you're holding back from doing anything. You feel like you... You, I just really don't like the energy of the moon here where you're in your mind, you're trying to convince yourself that something is not going to happen because you don't want to jump through all of this red tape and do all of this for nothing because then it doesn't happen. But I see here that with the nine of swords, This is going to cause you a great deal of worry. And this actually, I have to apologize here, you guys, because the hermit is questioning whether or not they should walk away. All right, so I hope I made myself clear there. And whether or not you should walk away from this Ace of Pentacles this new opportunity that you've taken in your life that you love because it really hurts your heart here with the three of swords to walk away from this. It's fire, it's desire, it's something you desire. 
tell me why the why is the nine of swords here why is pisces so worried because i really see and um i just really see you deciding to be stubborn here Scorpio energy with an ending. All right. This is what you're really worried about here. Something ends. The death has taken place. Something ends. You can see death showing up right there. And then you have the three of cups next to it. Like um, this three of cups, these people here, they... They look like they're, like there may be three people involved here that are significant, like the most significant to you in your life. But, um, I'm seeing you getting together with three people at least. There could be more because I keep seeing the family showing up here. All right, the Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. And... I'm seeing you getting together with these people and discussing this ending that has taken place at this point in the reading because you're worried about it and now you're like, okay, now what are we going to do? What are we going to do? The moon is here. Where do we go from here? It's dark outside when the moon is out. You can't see. Where do we go from here? And I, like I told you guys, I see the family here, all right? I see um, there could be a marriage here. Could be like a marriage and, and um, the different kind of an ener energy of your extended family. Spirits, why, what does this tower mean to Pisces? What does Pisces need to know about this tower that is to come? A choice between you and someone else is showing up here again with the lovers. Um, of whether to drop this Ten of Wands. Which is a lot of work you've been doing but you've been determined to follow this through it's it's something in your life that you've started to do it's a new project i feel like and um now after all of this work and carrying all of these burdens you gotta really let it down you gotta put it down almost feeling like did i do this for nothing it is your wish fulfillment here, but the person on the wish fulfillment card here looks like they're asleep. They've put a lot of work into this thing that they love, this blessing. Tell me why, what this tower is. What is the tower, spirits? Justice, Ace of Wands, and the Queen of Swords. Something that you need to face. And I see you facing it with someone here. There's you and someone else with this lover's card and the four of wands. There's you and someone else here that's going to have to face something and come up with a new plan. Because there's a loss here. And it's, it's really, really... Something that you need to think about, Pisces, with the Queen of Swords. Think about something, like something else that, that 
will be offered to you after this Ace of Pentacles is to fall down. There's some, there's a new offer here. Spirits are telling you justice will be done. The scales will be balanced. Things in your life will be made fair. Even though this tower, it seems painful here when, when it happens. Spirits have told you twice now, justice, justice will come into your energy and things will be given back to you better than before. And the reason I'm saying they're going to be given back to you better than before, before the tower falls, is because you have ten of pentacles here. Alright, and then you have the three of pentacles. The ten of pentacles is a feeling like you have it all. You have everything. You could be... Um, this is like, like money, there's no lack of nothing here. Tell me why this is, you could be getting married. See, look, the Ten of Pentacles again, and I'll even read to you what it means here. Financial security for yourself and your family. Inheritance or retirement, peace and contentment in life, honoring family traditions, pride in the family tree, passing on the knowledge. And over here you have um, the King of Wands. Um, you have someone by your side here throughout the process, Pisces, that is showing up as a masculine energy. And this King of Wands... This card is telling you is motivational, inspiring, theatrical, ambitious, takes a leadership role, step into the spotlight, public speaking, keep your eye on the big picture, communicate your vision, don't be sensitive to criticism. And I'm seeing this King of Wands energy here with you throughout this process. And this is someone that has a lot of confidence here. But um, again, choose wisely. I wanna warn you about that because I try, I'm try. i seeing here in the future this person trying to persuade you of something. And the moon is here again, something that you're unsure of. And Spirits are telling you to listen to your intuition and pay attention to signs from the d divine. Unnecessary worry. Let go of your fears. Revelations that will make everything clear. All right. So there's some something here that you fear um, with the moon energy too. It's something that you that you that is the unknown that you fear. But there's also, with the moon, there's also this energy of, I don't want that to happen. I don't want to take this loss. And so I'm not going to accept that that is reality until I have to. So do your research. And this was very interesting to me because I see as you're walking away, you have like a thief right there, the Seven of Swords. What is this Seven of Swords energy? Be careful to, um, be careful on how you manage your money, Pisces, while you're walking away. Um, because this, this energy here of being charitable and giving away of your resources, because I'm seeing here that you're very kind with your finances. There's someone here that as you're walking away, it's like someone could be taking something, but the scales will be balanced. You'll receive more than what you're losing here financially. And then you have the five of pentacles. So... Yeah, it's taking a loss of money. 
fears surrounding money, reach out for assistance, poor timing. Um, spirits, tell me why the Ten of Pentacles and the, and the Three of Pentacles are here. The Ten of Cups. A happy marriage, happily ever after, emotional contentment, a loving relationship with your children, raising children wisely and successfully, people you can trust. So this really, this energy of whatever this loss is, it really pulls your family together. Tell me why the Three of Pentacles is here. The end, okay. So you may not realize it because it looks like there's something here that's very difficult for you to leave behind. And I even feel like this Ace of Pentacles, you will have victory, all right, in, the, in whatever happens here, and you will have justice. But you're going to be moving into calmer water, Pisces. It's like you're leaving behind an energy with the Ten of Wands, Something here that you're working really, really hard on, but you're climbing uphill, and um, you you actually it's coming to mind. Um, you actually, if you're fighting too hard for something, um, it may not be meant for you. Like things that are meant for you, they're going to flow very easily, and so. You will find a welcome relief and finding your place, finding your way to a peaceful place. And you may be traveling or relocating. Okay. So I'm going to get you guys one of these cards before I let you go. one more card how does this what what is Pisces advice what advice is there for Pisces with this decision they need to make what does Pisces need to know okay so you have the ace of autumn all right, so you can expect a windfall of abundance, such as money, timely assistance, a serendipitous meeting, a rewarding or a rewarding advice. You may be offered a fabulous new job or promotion or the prospect of a profitable business venture or investment. So see, something ending is going to bring in something better. And that's what I'm trying to prepare you guys for here. I can see it in the energy. And then you have the three of spring, the sea turtle. Stop to take time to review and to make long-term plans, capitalizing upon your past success. It's appropriate to pat yourself on the back for all your accomplishments, but you may also need patience for the next phase to play out. All right, Pisces, I love you guys. Thank you for being here with me. And um, thank you guys for taking the time to like and subscribe. I love you guys. And take care of you today, Pisces. And we will meet back here again tomorrow. Namaste.